Hi and uh, welcome back to the Code Maven screencasts. My name is Gabor and uh, I would like to show, share a really simple example with you uh, but a little background uh, for it. So uh, one of the reasons I really love teaching is because every time I teach something uh, people come up with all kind of questions that I haven't thought about uh, that demand an explanation or some solution and from that I learn enormous amount of new things. For example, usually when I teach, uh, I teach uh, uh, how to get uh, input from uh, the user, for example, uh, the name of a file that you won't need to work on, I either tell, teach them to get from the command line on the CLI or uh, uh, as a parameter for the, for the program or to ask the user for input uh, on, the, on the standard input. So in Python that would be the sysargv or uh, calling the input uh, function. But uh, nowadays, when, when I teach, for example, the Development Institute, I encounter many people who are not really familiar with the comp command line. I mean, the majority of the people are using uh, Windows and they have never seen or used the command line. And uh, even if they, in the, in the course, learn how to do this, many of the people for whom they create the program don't want to use the command line. So I started to, to show them how to use TK in order to create uh, programs. But we don't have to go and uh, the full-blown TK application in order to use this. So you can visit the slides. So this, these are the, this is the link here uh, to the, the slides of all, all of my Python-related slides. And this is specifically the slide for the for the example I would like to show you. So I'm opening it now. It's going to be uh, uh, beneath the, the video or above, depending on where you find the video. So don't worry about the, the typing in the link. This is uh, uh, the whole example that you can see. So what, what this code does is... Um, but let me show you what, what happens. So what you can do is now if I switch to the... Uh, uh, and I'm on Windows, so you can see that I'm Windows. Uh, if you switch to the uh, file explorer and then you find uh, the specific uh, file, uh, you can double click on it and then assuming that you, uh, that um, you, the person who installed Python, uh, connected the, uh, the default behavior of the .py files to be running with Python. So if I double click on it, it will, well, it shows in another window, another on the other window, so I'm pulling them over back here. Normally that would be the same screen, I mean usually people have only one screen. Uh, anyway, it, it opened the, this black window which is a little bit... Uh, I mean it's not really nice, but what can we do? Um, this is how it be behaves. Um, and um, it opens a file, like, uh, a, a file selector basically. And here it also gives me uh, a selection of files, so it, means it, it allows me, the, the programmer, to decide what types of file I'm looking for. So the user can now s search for either the Excel files or CSV files or any files, because in this folder I don't have any of those other files, so I just to told it to, to look for any file. And then I can pick any of the file names here, just pick one name, it will say that this is the file. It's just a regular file selector, so one that you would very similar to what what you would see if you open the file in Word, for example. And then I click on Open, and what the, my program does, this little snippet that I will sh explain to you in a, in a second, it will just print out the name of the file, the full path to this file. Um, but of course, your program would be able to start using that file to uh, read the content, if it's an Excel file, then open it and, and uh, do whatever processing. And then uh, just uh, in, in order to be able to show you the, the, what happens, I also added this press any key, so the black window is still here and it will close only when I press the, this any key basically. Like, actually not any key, I think it, I need to press enter here, but don't worry about that. that uh, the explanation here. So this is the whole thing that you need. You don't, uh, you we haven't created a full-blown TK-based, GUI-based application for this. It's still gonna be a regular uh, application, uh, just uh, as you probably uh, already know. Uh, we kn what we need is to import uh, the file dialog from TK uh, from TKinter. Whatever, how do you pronounce it? I don't know how other people pronounce it. So it's the TK library, this, this, this wraps TK basically in Python. And then we call the file dialogs. So on this file dialog, there it has 
uh, number of methods, but now we are all, uh, calling for the ask open file name, and we can define what types of files uh, to filter for. So it's not uh, like uh, Python uh, by default filters for looks for Excel files. It's that you, the programmer, uh, can tell what kind of files to filter for in this in this file dialog. And then this shows the file uh, that file dialog and whatever the user can select it is in, in this common um, uh, or well-known interface or how to select a file. Um, and then uh, it will get the name of the file will get into this variable, which in this case I just printed. Obviously, in your code you will probably do something with this uh, file, and uh, and that's it basically what you need. And uh, the last thing that you actually saw is that I at the end I called the input uh, function, and uh, it actually shouldn't be any key; it should be press enter. So I'll have to fix this in the slide. Um, it's it's just there because without this. Uh, when uh, the program will automatically close and then that black window will automatically close so I won't see this printout. Um, it's just a trick for especially for this show, although in some cases if you'd like to to show the results in just uh, on the command line and printing out on the terminal uh, then you would probably need to add something like this to your code as well. Uh, so if someone double clicks on it then it wouldn't automatically close the the window. So that's that's it for now for today. It, I mean, I thought it's going to be shorter, but it was already got more, almost seven minutes. Uh, anyway, I hope that this thing, uh, this example, can help you with one of your um, um, projects. And um, yeah, usual the usual thing that I should say is that I, you please follow the the channel and like the video and whatever. So anyway, bye bye for now.